Well, hello guys. I'm going to try to explain what, how it was that I did the conversion uh, with the free sky module. I'm going to try to be as clear as possible. Bear with me, and if you have any questions, I'll explain it to you. Well, this is not the best camera to do this, but uh, yeah, even so, I'm going to try to explain to you what did I did, what did I do to this um, transmitter. Well, obviously, I bought the FreeSky module over there, and out of the FreeSky module, it comes um, six cables. Three cables, well, in fact, seven cables. It comes with a PCB that has a little switch, and this you're going to have to find anywhere to put it. I put it mine uh, back here. It has a little press switch that you use to bind and then three uh, three other cables that are this yellow one that is signal ppm signal be be aware this is ppm this um, module will only accept ppm signals um, and then a power red one with uh, power and a black one as ground. What the the main thing that I did over here was make it it has to be connected to the trainer port. The signal coming from the main PCB board it will not be PPM then um, thus making it not work. It will only work with two channels will not work with another the rest of the channels. So you need to get a real PPM signal. So the the yellow wire will you have to get that PPM signal from the trainer port it is right here. So the yellow wire will be connected to pins three and six on the trainer port. It needs to bridge both pins. It needs to. I know that this camera one will not focus this close, but over here you have pins. You have pins three and six over there that are bridged to the to this yellow cable it's the signal cable that goes to the module this one so this will be soldered both to pins three and six and then you'll go to pin five and solder another wire to pin five that will come into here this little switch that I got here. What this does is I'm, I'm getting um, f from this uh, wire over here, let me see if I can be clear about this for those guys that do not understand el electronics. This wire over here is getting power from where? From the main PCB board over here to the plus pin. There's two pins where the battery connects, a plus and a minus. So this is getting power from the plus pin. And this is powering the the middle the both the middle pins on the switch. So the switch has it doesn't need to be a six uh, well a two four six pins switch. It only needs to be a four pin switch. So what, what, what this does, well, mm, I'm sorry, I was mistaken. It needs to be a six pins switch. Why? So I'm powering the middle pins, both middle pins, with power. I'm giving them power. So in this position, it is off. Why? Because it's connecting those two other pins that are not connected to anything and the power. When I flip it the other side, it will connect these two pins and the middle ones. So power will come through this one and out to the, these two um, cables. So where do these cables go? One cable will go to the uh, hack um, module, to the red wire, to the hack module. So this one, this green one. 
I used green wires, is powering the hack module. And the other one will go to the trainer port. What this does to pin 5 from the trainer port, this will activate the radio. Okay, so if you power the pin 5 on, on the radio, on the radio, if you power it up, it will activate the main PCB and transmit PPM signal from the trainer port. This is the only way, the only way it will work. Okay, guys? So remember, power the switch, middle pins, main power, it comes from the main PCB board, okay? Then two switches, one to the hack module, power to the hack module, and the other one power to the pin, five, to number five pin on the trainer port, okay? And when you flip the switch, the trainer port will become active, thus activating the radio and sending through pins 3 and 6. Remember the bridge between pins 3 and 6, sending a, a clear PPM signal to the radio, to the module, making it work. The other black cable is just ground. You find a, a ground here anywhere on the PCB, and just solder it. Here it is. Then accommodate the, the module over there. Make room for your antenna. Just make a hole, put your antenna over there. And there you go, there's your hack. The main important thing, I do not get uh, tired of remembering this, is to remember PPM signal, the yellow wire that comes from the hack, will need on the 7C, this will work on the 6C, on the 6 channel without doing this step. On the 7 channel, the 7C fast radio, you need to put the yellow wire connected both to pins 3 and 6 on trainer port. Okay? Then the rest is easy. Number 5 pin, remember, again, comes to the switch. The other green cable of the switch on the two top top cables will go to the main port and then the main power will go to the middle ones in order to make contact when you flip the switch from one side to the other. Okay? Well guys hope this I hope this was helpful. You know, if you have any questions just uh, put, post them on the on the comment section and I will answer them as soon as possible. Okay? Bye-bye.